We're coming for family vacations all the time. But this time, it's going to be different. Why is it different? Because we are going to get a local tour guide, okay? Ooh. A true Penang guide to bring us around. Yes, you she's know? none other than Lo Wee Wen. She is our international squash player, mm -hmm. top 10 in the world. Oh, she, she, it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun. Yeah, and she knows the best places to eat. Ooh. So that's the most important thing, okay? I know food, yeah. So, special edition, set of sports, Paul the Orient. Let's go! Woo Heading up to Bukit Bendera, Mopi 9 Hill. Okay, Wee Wen, do you know how high this hill is? No, it looks pretty scary though. Why? Yeah, you should know more here. 1,000 kilometers. <laughs> but it's the highest peak of Penang, lah, that's I'm sure. See that, see that? That's how it used to look like before this new one. the old track. Wow! This tunnel, as you can see, it's built in 1922. Let's go! Let's go! Penang Hill, here we come! Wait, 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 is this mist or haze? I no. have to ask. Miss, miss. This miss, right? It's yeah. called Skywalk, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow. Walking on the Skywalk. So from, from the view that we're about to see, you'll be able to see Penang Bridge, uh, the Penang State Mosque, uh, Kom Tower, Kom Tower, one of the tallest towers in uh, Penang. Penang. Yep. You see the ferry terminal. It feels very, very fresh here, like, yeah, after I know. you guys. Look at all this, it's, like, it's so pretty. Ah, so much greenery and like, the smell of fresh air. <laughs> it's like very British, huh? very British. Oh yeah, the colonial houses. Yeah. But these bungalows were actually left, like, left by the British. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, when they were here. Oh. So since like the 1920s. Right, that you started playing squash at the age of eight, eight years old, so young. So, um, how, how did that all start? Your coach was, you were saying... Nicole's, Nicole's sister. Sister, right? Yeah. I mean, Tell us that story. I started squash at the age of eight, but that is partly because my parents got divorced. So, right. my mom wanted me to, to do something on the weekends. Mm. So, she gave me an option between tennis and squash. And living in Malaysia, tennis isn't exactly the greatest option with the weather. It can be either so true. hot or so or raining Very so heavily. Smart or heat. Yeah, yeah, Once true. a year. Yeah. yeah, so I picked squash and that's how it all started. Basically, I started playing squash. My first coach was uh, Leanne, Nicole's older sister. Mm. And my current coach is now married to Nicole's second sister. 
so it's all in the family. <laughs> like, like every Penang would say it's kakilang. Yeah, kakilang, yeah, really yeah. kakilang. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when you hang out with like Nicole David, for example, like do you guys talk only about squash or like? Um, not always, but I guess it somehow comes back to it eventually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like, give me an example of like a squash conversation. <laughs> We could be talking about okay, uh, which country we're we going to next, and it, it sort of relates back to oh yeah, we had played that tournament there before, and then it goes back to squash. Is again. it is it something as random as like hey, have you checked out that movie? And it's like oh, remember that record I bought? <laughs> does, it, does it happen like that? <laughs> well, maybe it'll go to the movie part, and then we'd be like that guy is hot, and then we're like oh yeah, <laughs> looks like the guy we saw at that court. <laughs> right, right. The transition from choosing the professional path of being a professional squash player and education and studies. Like, how was it like? Was it hard? Like, But um, I actually had scholarships going to America from renowned universities at the age of 17. What oh, universities? Wow. Well, I've got Harvard, Princeton, Trinity asking if I wanted and you, to. Uh, okay. And, and you gave up Harvard and Princeton <gasps> for squash? I did, yeah. yeah. I'm sure, okay, I'm sure oh. people have asked you this, but I want to hear this. What was your justification for choosing squash over Harvard uh, and Princeton? Well, for me, I always thought that education is something you can always go back to later on. But in, in sports, you need to have X number of years. And mm. if I were to take a scholarship, I, I can't play professional squash, I can't play for Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And squash was something I was really passionate about and something I grew up with. Okay. So um, then I made a deal with my mom. So at the age of 17, I told her, in one year, if I don't break top 50 in the world rankings, I will pack my bag and be good and go off and study, get a degree. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So in the first year, I managed to break, I think I got 47 at the end of the year. <laughs> nice. And so she said, okay, what about next year? I've got, okay, next year will be a next top 40. Right. So I managed to break, I think, 35 in that year as well. But so within that short period of time, huh? Yeah, I wow. did. Because now you're top 10. Now you're like... <laughs> So now my mom can't force me to go back to school. Exactly. To exactly. So, so just maybe down the line, you'll be like a 50-year-old Harvard or something. Yeah. So we might be still going to frat parties at the age of 55. But I'll bring you along, then. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, take us. <laughs> okay, can you see the queue there? That's mm -hmm. supposed to be the famous kacang putih. Oh, people do actually oh come because it's called the famous Penang Hill Kacang Putih. Exactly, you got it. The name is right there for you to have a look. Oh. And it's got to be good, lah, right? So I heard like this shop has been here like for a very long time. Yeah, the picture next to it. Oh, look at that! 60s. 60s. Since the 1960s. <laughs> so you are the third generation. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey. Time for us to try the famous Penang Hill uh, Kacang Putih. They've been around since 1960s. There's like three generations of like... Awesome Kacang Putihness. <laughs> okay, let's, let's give it a go. Okay, come on. It's hot. Careful. Mmm. Mmm, mm. I think. It's like eating banana leaf rice, but as a <laughs> snack. You know, like a mouthful of it. Mm. Because like to make dal, they use chickpea. Mm. So this is like keras punya dal. You know, this is the spices. The muruku as well. The muruku, yeah. Oh, cool. What We've is this? We got this locky locky bridge. Oh. Very similar to the ones in uh, Paris and Korea. Right. So you like write love messages and and put it put on your yeah, yeah, yeah. Love your relationship. Oh. On the subject of relationship, huh? Will you date an athlete or not an athlete? Like someone who likes food, maybe. <laughs> someone holding his kacang putih shirt at this point in time? Uh, well, I guess that would really depends on how he looks. Is, 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 is there no getting out of this? No. <laughs> You're kind of locked here. So you have to answer the question. But it's just a preference. Like we're not asking in particular if you're dating anyone. Yeah, we won't but... hold you down to it. Yeah, so. But can you, would you date a sportsman? Um, yeah, I would, but it's not exactly like a fixed requirement. Mm. Um. Sorry.
just looking at us like we're like extremely late. But cool. It's okay to be late at the funeral. Yeah.